onto this project and looked around, you realise that in fact we had a whole range of set of skills that we hadn't really given much value to. We knew how to deliver things on time and on budget, uh, not a huge skill in some academic institutions. Uh, we knew how to deliver projects to an audience, you know, how actually the difference between yeah, it kind of works and no, it actually really works in such a proper way that you could put real members of the public here, they would pay for this, and you would give them an experience that, that, is, that is, is worthwhile, meaningful and worthwhile. So we had these kind of production skills, uh, and we also realised that the very act of making the work we, we were making was actually pushing all kinds of research agendas simultaneously, and although we didn't have formulated them in terms of research things, to us they were interesting ways in which you might think about making a game or making something in virtual space or a mix, how you might mix reality between real and virtual. You know, they, they would really interpret that as actually having quite sensible outcomes. So uh, we even have found that we, we, we're actually now involved in the business work package, you know, which to me, I was just like, keep me away, you know, there's not yet so many, you know, the last thing we want to do is try and be in any environment with those guys trying to sort of sit alongside them. But in fact, of course, so many of the people we work with are the research people, and then so many not yet. Most of them don't do much selling of products or anything in terms of business. And we actually have quite a lot of experience in business, partly through our artwork, which is that we actually have to sell our work at a certain price, and we market it, we produce marketing materials, we negotiate, we enter into contracts, we roll our projects out in different languages, in different cultures, with different you know, operating systems, and we have all kinds of sets of experience that, in fact, you know, it turned out that no one in the Nokia and Sony teams had ever done something from moving it from one country to another through different languages, and we've done stuff in the States and in Australia and, Aust and, and Japan and, and Taiwan. So, you know, we had all of this kind of knowledge. So, you know, we, we've sort of increased our, our, our kind of contribution to projects. Um, what, I, what I'm going to do is just uh, show a little bit of... Um, of a, of a project that has come out of um, of, of like uh, uh, apologies to those of you who might have seen it when it was here. Uh, this, this piece is called David Figueroa. It was actually installed upstairs. And so that kind of then heavily led, led to working 